take a minute and find the height of a parallelogram given area. So here's our parallelogram, WX, Y, Z, and we know two pieces of information. We know the side WZ is 11, and we know that the area is 88 square units. And we have to work backwards and try to find the height. So I'm going to label my diagram. Okay, WZ, I'm going to label that as 11. And I know the area, which is the space inside here, is 88 square units. Okay, so if I look over here, I've got the formula. The area of a parallelogram is just the base times the height, so it's similar to a rectangle. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug in my base as 11, and my height I don't know, but I do whoops, know my area, and that's 88. So then I just have 88 is equal to 11H, divide both sides by 11, and my height is 8. Now, where am I going to label that? Well, in a parallelogram, the height is not the side of the parallelogram, it's the actual altitude. So I'm going to draw down from x straight down to this opposite base, um, an altitude, which is just as if you're in an airplane, it's how high you are above the ground, and that's 8. So that is how you find the height of the parallelogram given the area. Okay, now let's look at a second example. We're going to take and find the height of a parallelogram given the sides and an angle. So let's see what we have. To find the area, remember we need the base and the height. Well, in this case, I have a base and I have a side of 8, but that's not my altitude. So what I've got to do is I've got to draw it in. So I'm going to draw in my altitude. Now, what has happened is when I draw that in, I've actually created a right triangle, but this one is a special right triangle, and you see this a lot on the SAT. So let's review our rules for a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Okay, in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, the short leg is opposite the short side. So up here, this one is my 30 degree angle. So the opposite side, I'm going to call it X. My hypotenuse is 2X and my long leg is x times the square root of 3. So I'm going to go up here and figure out what I have. Well, I have in my triangle the hypotenuse. So I'm going to set my hypotenuse equal to 8. So I have my hypotenuse, which is 2x, and 2x is equal to the length of 8. So x has to be equal to 4. So that means my short leg is 4, my hypotenuse is 8, but I need this side. I need my long leg because if you look at that, isn't that the height? So all I have to do is use my little formula. Since I know x is 4, then it's 4 square root 3, and that is my height. And then I can use that to find my area up here. So area is equal to the base. Well, we decided the base is 10. And the height we just figured out was 4 square root 3, so the area would be 40 square root 3 square units. And that's your formula to find the area given the sides, and that's how you find the altitude or the height. Hope this video was helpful.